Afghanistan uh, or the border population in Afghanistan and Iran. They are happy. And <coughs> we have nothing to do with them. And uh, if one is happy uh, with, uh, with their own country, in their own country, like in Switzerland, you have three types of population here: the Swiss Germans and Swiss French and Swiss Italian. So they are happy. That doesn't mean that uh, a German would come and ask for the German part of Switzerland. So I think uh, it's clear, and I just want to make it clear here again, we are only struggling for the independence of Balochistan, which was illegally occupied by Pakistan. And they are ha uh, happy in Iran, the Baloch population, some of them are in Afghanistan, they are happy, and we have very good, and we are also happy for them. Let's just answer. <coughs> this concept of uh, greater Balochistan has been floating around from the days that Modi spoke about the Balochistan's rights and the miseries the Red Fort in the 15th of August. Uh, I would like to tell our uh, audience here, and this has been triggered by the Pakistani ISI and their henchmen, because, uh, and they're predominantly from the Iran side of Balochistan. They want to create bad relations between uh, Iran and India, First of all, they want to bring in loggerheads the Iranian government to the Indian government, so the Iranian government can question Mr. Modi, say, how can you talk about the Western rights that these guys are aspiring to break your country to? Uh, this is a big ploy by the Pakistani agents. We, the international community, you, the NGOs, the learned people over here, must be very <coughs> careful, make a very clear distinction between our demands and between what they float in. We believe Pakistan occupies Baluchistan is great enough. It is great Baluchistan for us. There is no such thing as great evolution for us. Thank you. Let me add that this is a legal issue. We are not talking of some uh, fancy philosophical uh, idealism. We had a country that was recognized by many, that was recognized by Pakistan. The Balochistan state had an embassy in the Pakistani capital, Karachi. And for nine months, it was an independent country. Like any other independent country, if another country attacks and occupies it, it has the fundamental right of national liberation to fight against the occupier. Pakistan did not occupy any part of Iran or Afghanistan. Iran didn't come and occupy Kalat. Afghanistan was a place where many Baloch took refuge after the Pakistani uh, army massacred uh, its rulers. So we are dealing primarily with a legal issue that has legal foundation. No sovereign country can invade another and occupy it. We are asking for the occupation to end. That's it. No ifs, no buts. Thank you.